You know, I would think the shot would at least reduce the, uh... Oh. Well, the problem with it being the shot heard around the world is that this guy also heard it. I, I think he was talking about the, uh, the shot that Luis gave her. The, uh, suppressant. I was trying to do some wordplay based on that. I uh, <laughs> and, uh, uh, yeah, let's, uh... Let's throw that joke in the bin with all of all, all of Umbrella's other failed experiments. Hey, maybe after the job is over, we could all go to the bar to get some shots. <laughs> eh, maybe I'll do it tomorrow night. I'm shot. All right. Guys, it's okay. Black robe's gone. You get we can we can start making shot puns now. You know, I, I hear the uh, Los Illuminados bar has a, a really weird mixed drink called the Spaghetti Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like a very good bar. <laughs> I don't know. I hear once you have it the first time, you always go back for more. <laughs> the uh, the Spaghetti Surprise is the ultimate secret attack of armored spaghetti. The next Death Stranding boss. <laughs> and of course, you know, with Kojima writing it, we all know that their their real first name is Alfredo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't anyway, know. Anyway, uh, what what video? Uh, what game is this again? I forget. Uh, is it the Evil Within? Resident Stranding, two. <laughs> <laughs> no, that seems wrong. Hmm. It won't open. Louise's footprints. A door being locked. That definitely seems wrong. It's locked on the other side too. Are you uh, really those, stranded those if you're a resident, though, like in your own home? Hmm. I mean, I guess you anyway, you could technically be stranded at home if you have no yeah the, no yeah that's a, that's a thing no mode yeah, of transportation. Yeah, do you remember what the year 2020 was like? <laughs> I think that uh, that that's how that works. Anyway, a uh, little little jump cut here because in recording I kind of did this section uh, out of order, so we're just gonna gonna do it in a more sensible order. Oh, cool! Or presented at least. Uh, following the uh, let's play the uh, let's play philosophy of Bertolt Brecht, I see. <laughs> so yeah, the. Uh, Foot and handprints go this way, but we gotta, you know, gotta get the stupid sun door open correctly. We gotta go up, down, and around. Yep. And maybe side to side. Just gonna, just gonna go ahead and give this this, this section the the old reach around, I guess. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should do that off camera. <laughs> uh, we don't want to get this video demonetized. <laughs> you should really call out when the the uh, wipes happen so somebody can yell teleport. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to like run up and stab that man, but I don't have a knife to stab with. And that is the animation that I was oh, convinced lantern, for a lantern. long time would, lantern. uh, yeah, lantern. Oh. <gasps> I saw it for once! Lantern! You know what, it's a anyway, good... Yeah. Oh, go ahead. 
I was just gonna say I'm glad uh, I get to I got to do the lantern thing at least once this this LP. And I'm glad that the monks are wearing robes made out of asbestos. <laughs> <laughs> and covered in gasoline for some reason. That's convenient. Okay, now that we've picked up an elegant crown, I'm gonna try to do an experiment tr to try to figure out what increases the value of it more. Five red gems or gem five gems of different colors? On this episode of Video Game Mythbusters, <laughs> Chaos Arcade answers the uh, the uh, hard-hitting questions. What? Gotcha. Questions I probably could just solve with math, but... <laughs> <laughs> Who does math? Nerds. Are you a nerd? I was told there would be no math. <laughs> You're complaining about that now, even after last episode? <laughs> Especially after last episode. <laughs> also, some of the signs that Luis gives us, I'm, I'm convinced he's just taking the piss. He's, uh... <laughs> He's having fun at Ada's expense. Like, look at that. <laughs> yeah, there's only one way, Luis. Cut it out. Although, of course, this being Chaos Arcade with gameplay, he immediately turned away from the very obvious sign. Well, that's because there was treasure. Which way are we supposed to go again? Uh, We were supposed to go upstairs, right? Yeah, I think so. Maybe there's a treasure this way. So are those bats invincible, like classic RE4 bats? Hope it's not a RE4, you could kill the bats at RE4, they just don't drop anything. For some reason, I feel like the, the ones in that little tunnel early on are invincible. Probably, because the, the other bats in, in Remake are invincible as well. Hmm. Speaking of classic hmm. RE4, uh, for this section is here to service the five fans who missed the sewer from chapter 3-2. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, I was about to say, this is, uh, this is the remake team bringing back the sewers, I think? Sewers, but they look different. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's now just a waterway as opposed to being a sewer. Wrigley Neck uh, Ganado is a bad time to not have a knife. Yeah, oh boy. It's a good thing I made like five flash grenades in the courtyard, though. Speaking of grenades, there are there is at least one locked door you can uh, expedite if you have a uh, an explosive grenade of some kind. Unfortunately, I do not have one. I, I think, think it's this door, though. I think that was also a thing in Resident Evil Five, perhaps unintentionally, where in one of the one, in one of the early chapters. You could bypass like a whole set piece by throwing a, an exa a grenade exactly at the right angle so it would bounce and hit a lock. I'm not swimming in that. I'd believe it. But yeah, one one of the one of the two locked doors in the, the the waterway that we've seen is padlocked. I think it's the second one. So if you throw a grenade <laughs> and have it blow up like right next to the, the lock, it'll you can open the door. Oh hey, it's our favorite bug buddies. Oh yeah, also, hi Novies. They do not die in water. How about that? Yeah, I was a little disappointed that they uh they didn't die in the water, but also we've we've seen them in the water before, so I don't Just know why. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. That was right, a joke here's... specifically for fans of uh taglines in late seventies blockbusters. <laughs> All right, here's the side quest to go find the Lord of the Waterway. We already found a real big fish. <laughs> that was the Lord of the Lake. I can't believe that one fish was an entire ska band. Am I, am I getting that right? Was that real big? Okay, whatever. Yeah. The... yeah. <laughs> I guess the the catch a big fish is uh, that's that's a trendy side quest.
I swear there are more t- song titles. Why can I never remember the other song titles? <laughs> <laughs> that note was such a, an elaborate and overly wordy well description done. of a sewer. You think that Victor Hugo wrote it? <laughs> Got some rare things on sale. Wow, I am really on fire with these contemporary pop culture references. What's that? Okay, so the merchants got a new exclusive charm for Ada. Uh, this one allows Ada to use the grapple gun to rip shields out of uh, Ganado's hands. It is maybe a little redundant with the uh, the Punisher, but it's it can still have its uses, especially later on the island. Like to save on bullets. That too. A well-tuned weapon can make up for a lack of skew, friend. Merchant, you're you're almost crossing the line there. That was like his favorite voice line for both of my playthroughs, and it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> is that part of the but dynamic difficulty system? The lower it is, the more often that line will appear. <laughs> you've made some room. I All want the stingray, but I can't. I have no room. <laughs> Oh, look, now you probably have room. Nope. <laughs> oh, yes. There we go. <laughs> Hooray for auto sort. The coward button <laughs> saves us again. What you see is what I, I don't always have this in stock, stranger. I see that uh, the merchant has been studying from Nintendo in terms of the uh, the art of artificial scarcity. Hmm. I mean, if you have less stock, that does mean you are more likely to sell out. So, or sell uh, through, I guess. Yeah, speaking of real big fish. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if I keep making these references, somebody hates me. <laughs> Right, just gonna set 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 Ada up with her a charm of herself. A little egotistical, don't you think? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, maybe I should have kept the song list up on my phone. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I mean, you're you're doing really great, but none of us are Superman. <laughs> I know that's a different band. Shut up. Truly, you are keeping a gold finger on the pulse of these references. <laughs> You're turning into a real Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 for PlayStation. Oh, oh look, hey, a that's some, guy. Yeah, someone we can test our new charm on. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self charm does not work on bolts. <laughs> <laughs> Charm does not work on uh, off-camera enemies. Got it. Oh, the, the comedic timing on that. That was stellar. <laughs> Charm doesn't work. Crossbow men cannot be seduced. Also, I I, I really dig and dislike that the, uh, the 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 model hitbox is so precise. Like that dude just wriggled his head just completely around where I was shooting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, they, they also just give you the, the bioscope for free. Much earlier than you would reasonably need it, too. Yeah. It is kind of weird that they give it to you now. Much like the water room in the main part of the campaign, it's just that, that extra bit too early to be unnerving. I keep forgetting that you can also craft ammo and grenades from the main uh, attaché case menu. 
Yeah, I always like, went I'm to so the used to going menu. over to tapping over to the other sub menu. That should take care of the water. I hope. Same, honestly. Like I don't really know why I started doing it in that menu. I don't know what came over me. I just I just started crafting. <laughs> <laughs> Did it work that way in eight as well, or or was that not the oh, case? Oh, I don't remember. I don't think it had the little like sub menu like that, but yeah, I think you had to go to the discrete uh, crafting tab. Like right? I, either way, it's a perfect excuse to rewatch the Resident Evil Eight Let's Play. Yeah, you know, I, I think you were able to do some uh, crafting, but you not all of it. And if you if you were to do so in Heisenberg's factory, uh, technically speaking, you would be crafting in the mine. Wow, that even by my standards, that joke was <laughs> dead on arrival. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I honestly thought you were going to send it to storage after all that time you spent trying to fit it in your attache case. What are you doing? I was trying to see if that was a padlock or <laughs> like a bolt. It, it's a bolt. <laughs> yep. Uh, if only you could activate Tamu locks with a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the Tamu lock. There hasn't been a single one in, in uh, RE4 make. You know what you could really use that isn't in RE4 make either? Bolt cutters. Fuck. Seriously? Like, where where are they? They've been in all, This is the only uh, RE Engine Resident Evil game without bolt cutters. We had time I, I lock in. The, the bolt cutters cut DLC. <laughs> <laughs> We had Tamu locks and two make and three make, and I don't think they reappeared in. Uh, well, I guess reappear would be the wrong term for it. I don't think they were in seven or village. I guess to be fair, Snake. like the Tamu locks being in uh, two and three uh, makes sense. Those are both set in Raccoon City. Ah, uh, yes. Per perhaps the uh, Tamu lock manufacturer didn't really do uh, work outside of the city. Yeah, like maybe, maybe they're at at best. I think they might just be like an American brand. Is it oh, in, in the remake canon? Is it still in the lore that the the healing herbs are native to the Arclane Mountain region? I don't think it can be anymore now that we're we've been picking up herbs all over the place in uh, rural uh, Spain. Yeah, that's, ooh, that's that's a problem. Look, Resident Evil 4 is an excellent game in many respects, but uh, when it comes to preserving continuity, let's just say there are uh, there are some significant issues. Also, I'm surprised you could use those soggy resources to make bullets. <laughs> It, it, it's just a box, Ada. What was that noise? Oh, that's who it was. Those two oh, guys up a, there. There's more crossbow dudes. Okay. They're not going to be able to beat the uh, comedic timing of that other guy, though. Nope. No, that, that one guy was like their best one. If that Novistador <laughs> knocked you off of a ladder, that would be incredible. <laughs> It would Congratulations, be, yeah. Ada, you killed the best stand up comedian in all of Spain. <laughs> oh, hey, you. Ooh. <laughs> now, this mm. has some great comedic potential. <laughs> Well, oh right, you're doing the all reds thing, I forgot. Yeah, I'm just... Er... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that was <laughs> shenanigans, I tell you. Apparently that Novi didn't like the me slotting in the blue one. 
You said you were gonna do all red. <laughs> we'll get there. You like, posted I could just cringe, put... Ada. You're gonna lose subscriber. <laughs> and this is me, I think, getting lost. Or maybe I'm just making a run back to the merchant. I can't remember anymore. This is this Ada getting lost? You're, you're role playing. Ooh, ooh. I guess you can parry them lunging out of the water. I just saw the prompt. Oh yeah, I hadn't considered that. Because usually, like, because you'd think that would count as a grab attack, and grabs, yeah. grabs as a general rule can't be parried. Although I guess to be fair, like I did get hit with it a couple times, and yeah. like that was not definitely not a grab. That was just a lunge. That one inconsistency has rendered this game completely unplayable. Cancel the LP. Now that's a grab. I still find myself wishing Ada could uh, suplex. I mean, I know she never did. But everybody should suplex. I wonder how difficult it would be to pull off, like, a German suplex in stiletto heels. Though given everything else that she's able to do while wearing heels, I guess it wouldn't be that big of an issue. Yeah, I was about to say, she does so many other acrobatics, I think she might be able to manage a suplex in heels. Oh, oh, there it is. Congratulations, you picked up a yellow diamond covered in sewer water. <laughs> what if it's that just, just a... makes it more attractive to Ada. <laughs> oh no, you're right! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Leon. I'm leaving you for a yellow diamond. <laughs> you don't even want to know what she's thinking about those Navistadors. Oh no! <laughs> You know, I wouldn't hunt for the, uh, the, the Lord of the Waterway quite yet with your inventory situation. I'll, I'll figure it out. Mm. He's very like, yeah, tiny, yeah. that's the joke. <laughs> the Lord of the Waterway is around here somewhere. There he is. Aw, oh, what a cute little fishy. No, don't examine him. He'll start wiggling around and singing a song. <laughs> <laughs> you should right, he, like, make a green, green, open? and green. Or you could just use all your green herbs. Yeah, green, green, and green. Well, no, I was like consuming them to make even more space. I, mean, I don't know why I didn't just stack those two. You have but so here. many different options available to you, Chaos Arcade. <laughs> but here, uh, here, let's do some inventory management. Live on camera, I guess. Ah, oh, yeah, this, that was satisfying. Ah, oh, you ruined it with the cowardice. <laughs> Live from Spain, it's Saturday night. Inventory management edition. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave behind the single great. Oh, never mind. You there are taking that single <laughs> grain of gunpowder with you. Leave no gunpowder behind. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> I can't remember if I'm trying to move on here or if I'm trying to uh, if I'm trying to find my way back to the merchant to uh to sell this. Well, when Ada. it comes to Leon, Ada is incapable of moving on. Ada can't get enough of this water, that's why she had to go in for a second bout. <laughs> yeah, don't don't believe Ada when she says she's not going for a swim, uh, like, at the start of this video. She's sitting here thinking, mm, next time I see Leon, I'm gonna smear some of this all over him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing I wore a sweater, it's real absorbent. <laughs> Oh, I grossed myself out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this the sweater is gonna be Thanks real be fucking right. soggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this section. Yeah, like, is it gonna do that thing some sweaters do, where it feels real weird for the material to like 
rub up against itself when it's wet. Like, I hated doing laundry with sweaters in it. Because, ah, <laughs> uh, it just felt weird moving it to the dryer. God, I hate it. Oh, maybe Canadian sweaters are built differently. <laughs> or maybe I'm just a fucking weirdo. I mean, I'm not, I'm not about to discount that. I think it please, really depends on the material of the sweater, I guess. Please eat a green herb. Just, just cram it down the gullet, my friend. <laughs> no, Ada, you can't how make me. Ada, how many green herbs have you eaten in your lifetime? <laughs> also, I don't know if I ever did this, so here you go. <laughs> Thank you for also giving us the opportunity for the perspective flip. <laughs> to let us aim at the audience. My LP -er in spaghetti Christ. Eat a green herb. <laughs> <laughs> There's no spaghetti around. Fuck. I don't have anything to sprinkle the parsley on. And here's the uh, the the LP spaghetti Christ missionary coming to get you to, uh, coming to convince you to eat your green herbs. Also, yeah, we uh, we got to fight Gary over here while dealing with a bunch of cultists. Right, I forgot that these are explode on impact. I'm so used to the uh, the bolt thrower after seeing that for more time. And it is how it worked in the original. Uh, they yeah, much like uh, Krauser and Mercenaries. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, thanks, Gary. <laughs> I, I mean, child abuse, wow. <laughs> Do not eat the Lord of the Waterway, I swear. <laughs> I was really hopeful uh, a flash grenade was gonna gonna hurt Gary more than it actually did. I I wish that if you did eat the, the Lord of the Waterway, there would be an extra cutscene where Wesker yells at you over the codec for doing that. <laughs> Why did you avoid his hug? He was just <laughs> trying to be your friend, Chaos Arcade. And you, you left him hanging. Oh, the, the blast hit him. That's why he wasn't immediately swinging. Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> I just wanted to try to stab him. Now that was an incredible backhand. <laughs> Ooh, he lowered the crossbow when you put Gary between the two of you. Ooh. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed about that. I under I get it, but also... Mm. See, when you put someone in a life-threatening situation, uh, they show their true colors when it comes to uh, what they will do to save their lives. Oh, right in the Ganado junk. In, in, the, in the Ganado, I think that is the term. <laughs> They just keep throwing themselves down here for some reason. It's because they all secretly also have a fetish to be uh, struck in the gonados. <laughs> wow, th this commentary has gone completely off the rails. I can't tell if my parry or Gary uh, <laughs> dismembered that man. It was a tag team. <laughs> you gotta be rhythmically tapping that sprint button so you move slightly faster without actually running. Well, I mean, not that you need it right this second, but... Yeah, I, I, I don't think I was, like, in dire need of, like, escape like that. And it's a good thing that Ganados have incredibly short attention spans. In addition to being blind, I, I will say, though, not having a knife when dealing with Gary sucks. Does Ada ever get heavy grenades in separate ways? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, she does. Maybe just not at this part. 
Or is it not until she gets to the island? Uh, I don't remember when she gets them, but yeah, it might not be till island time. Really? As heavy oh. grenades uh, work wonders against uh, Gary and his ilk. Yeah, that checks out. In fact, uh, once we once we cover mercenaries later in in the let's play, I'm convinced that there are certain mechanics that only exist to give you a get out of jail free button when dealing with like the uh, the Salvadors and the Garys and the like. You, you oh, can't we're so close. We're one red short. Yep. I guess anyway. we'll solve that mystery next time. Yep.